guys i am so excited for today's video i am excited and i am scared at the same time because this is a topic that i've been avoiding but i know that i wanted to speak about it on my channel but i was like i ain't ready I, i'm lazy i'm lazy i'm lazy Welcome back to my channel. We have a very interesting topic today and I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time but I've just never felt ready for it because I don't want to lie to myself. I don't want to lie to you guys and be on some. I got it all together. I am disciplined. I'm diligent. Whereas your girl is lazy, you know. Um, but today I feel it's time. It is July. We have what five six months still ahead of us you know um and this topic yay guys this topic is so important and um my word can i tell you um the first sermon of the year on the 7th of january i remember um i even tweeted about it was about laziness and i was like yo why so personal zishan the beginning of the year why so personal and i remember just this thoughts has been in my mind the whole year about being lazy and how it will ruin your life um and today's intro verse is taken from proverbs chapter 6 verses 9 to 11 i'm gonna read it and we're gonna have a young chat about it guys listen this video is important um especially in our 20s and um, in our young age um, where we are trying to get our lives together. We're trying to establish ourselves. You know, we're trying to get our careers intact. I know we are back at school for the second semester and a majority of my subscribers are students. And um, we're back at school and I want this to encourage you. What I'm going to speak about has woken me up and I wanted to wake you up. And um, I know some of you are working, even if you're at work, um, wherever. This applies to every single one of us every single one of us so yeah we're gonna read uh proverbs chapter 6 verses 9 to 11 it says, how long will you lie there you sluggard sluggard guys that is like like a slug like yo okay yo okay <laughs> that word sluggard alone just just gets me it says how long will you lie there you sluggard when will you get up from your sleep a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come on you like a thief Poverty will come on you like a thief, guys. That verse, that verse, you know, sometimes I snooze, ne? Like, I'll wake up, I'm like, nah, especially it's winter, Gaband, it's cold. And, you know, we're about that snooze button. We're like, five more minutes, ten more minutes, please. And, you know, and it makes a difference, you know. And sometimes I snooze over. And it's like, bruh, you gonna be, you, do you want to be poor? Do you want to be poor, babes? And I think, no, and I get out of bed because poverty will come on you like a thief. And you know, we, we are in our 20s, like I said, and um, we are establishing ourselves. We need to work. And if we don't do it now, if we are lazy, if we keep sleeping, poverty will come on you like a thief. I don't know about you guys. I don't want to be poor, okay? Well, I've got goals. I've got dreams and I need to work for me to be where I want to be, you know? And you guys, we know this. When we hear people from the success stories, people who are successful, you know that they worked hard. You know, there's a journey. They don't just become great, you know? They don't just, you know, live their best lives, you know, happily. And they have a journey and a journey of working hard, of not being lazy, of going the extra mile. We need to go the extra mile. We can't do the bare minimum. At school, you're at school, you know, you go to lectures and um, that's just not enough. That's the bare minimum. Going to lectures is the bare minimum. You know, you need to make that extra effort. Go that extra mile. Go to the library consistently. And you guys, consistency is so important. Um, daily. Um, you know, I've learned this with my masters. Wow, wow, wow. If there's anything you can take from this video is consistency. Like, you need you need to keep going. You need to keep at it. You, even if, if you're like, well, this is not progressing me today. Trust me, it will add up. It will accumulate. And it will make a difference in the end. And you guys, there's not enough motivation. Like this video might might shake you a little bit. You know, you might feel, mm, yeah, I see where I'm lazy. But it's up to you to do it. And, I mean, 
you just have to do it you have to you we guys we can't afford to be lazy we, we girl even in relationships like guys your relationships with your family with your friends with your boyfriend or girlfriend you need to make the efforts you need it won't be good we can't be lazy with our relationship with god we can't because then if we don't pray we don't make the time to read our Bibles. Or how are we drawing closer to God, you know? And I want us to read another verse in Proverbs chapter 12, um, verses 24. It says, Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. Let me read that again. It says, Diligent hands will rule. You know, you will have authority. But laziness ends the end point in forced labor. You know, when you are lazy... When you procrastinate, when you sleep, when you should be working, you leave things um, to be rushed at the end. Forced labor. It's more labor. When you don't exercise and you keep gaining weight and you eat what you shouldn't eat and you just don't care and you're lazy and you're lethargic um, about your, your diet and being healthy. When you decide, when you decide, okay, no, sharp, no, it's time for me to work out. The amount of work you need to do is immense it's a lot and that's not how we should do our lives guys that's not how it should be um what i'm trying to say is that in our 20s guys and do not get me wrong guys do not get me wrong i'm not here to tell you to not sleep girl bow with that i don't want to hear that don't tell me i shouldn't sleep sleeping is natural but there's a time and there's a limit to it that's what i'm trying to say you know um it should be controlled Sleeping is important. Sleeping is crucial. You need to sleep. But there is a time for you to sleep. You know, it is... There is... They're, they're sleeping at a wrong time. And you know it. You feel good to know. Now, mm -mm, I shouldn't be sleeping, but I'm still sleeping. You know it. And that's what I'm saying we should remove and work and work instead. Um, you guys, we can't, we can't afford to be lazy. It will make you miserable. Being lazy will make you miserable. It will make you um, feel overwhelmed. Because now you understand, oh, I've got so much to do. I've got so little time. I need to do this. You know, and you feel overwhelmed. Whereas if you just daily, consistently. Yeah, guys, basically what I'm saying is that laziness will ruin your life in every factor. And step by step, it's the little things, guys. It's even making your bed. Just making your bed. It makes all the difference. It sets the tone for your day. Um, I know when I make my bed that no sharp no i'm doing things like you see now i'm about to be focused i'm about to get my life you know when i leave the room and i have the last look in my room and i see my bed is made everything is sitting well it's neat i'm like yeah let's go about this day you see it's about the little things it's step by step and don't be so don't overdo it i'm not saying now just a drastic change go now you seem 5 a.m super or 5 a.m i'm not saying that i'm saying make those little changes you know, when you know I'm, I'm sleeping extra, wake up. Do what you need to do. You know, um, that lecture, attend it. You're lazy. You'd rather be in bed. All of us, listen. We'd rather be in bed. But attend that lecture. You know, go to gym. Don't miss that class. Anyway, thank you guys for um, watching my video till the end. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys. And um, yeah. I feel like the next videos need to be more relaxed. I think I'm going to add in some vlog. I have some exciting things happening soon. And um, yeah, so some vlogs, some chilled vibes. So stay tuned. Stay subscribing. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe. Give my videos a like. Comment down below. Tell me um, a little thing to improve laziness. What do you do when you feel like I'm lazy but you need to work? What do you do? Um, comment down below. Let's help each other not to be lazy because I know the struggle of laziness is demonic, guys. Like, it is bad. And laziness, we can't afford it. And, um, yeah, so comment down below how you kill the whole laziness vibe. Like, we can't be about it. And, yeah, let's encourage each other in the comment section. And I love you guys so, so much. I will see you in my next video.